Happy Easter everywhere. This is my third video in the Acid Archives thread where we show an album from the book, The Acid Archives, started by Dom from Seeking a Thread. The title, Easter Everywhere, is discussed on page 375 of this book. I found that reading the entry and hearing others read the entry is kind of boring on these videos, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put up a graphic at the end of the video and you could read it as enthusiastic or as boring as you want to read it. This is their second album and considered by many to be their most psychedelic. You won't find You're Gonna Miss Me on this album. A great psychedelic cover. I'm holding the reissue because the cover is fragile and the gold flakes. I'll show a little bit. You can see that it flakes off. I'm dying to get myself a near mint OG and mono copy of this. The music and the cover display some themes of Buddhism, Hinduism, and Gnosticism. I think I said that correctly. Framed within a Western Christian perspective. The sun represents the open, blazing third eye. And this, the 13 floor elevators, eyebrows of Buddha. There are lots of things written about this cover. If you're interested in that aspect, then dig into Tommy Hall. He was a lyricist and the jug player. He was kind of nutty that way. A friend of mine is a big Tommy Hall guy, but I prefer my nutty to be more like Rocky Erickson. There are a few really good books that talk about the early days of the elevators and uh, you should seek that out and you get some real details. This, the album came with the inner sleeve, the, the lyric sheet. It's got their logo. The album came out October 25th, 1967. They recorded it in September. And actually, the mono came out first, came out in October. And then the stereo came out the next month, 1967. The earliest pressings of both the mono and the stereo had the song Postures misspelled. And so when you're looking for an OG, look for that misspelling. This has got a great psychedelic version of Bob Dylan's Baby Blue. It's one of the, it's the second best cover of that song that I know. The first being the Chocolate Watch Band from their second album which I did a video on that last week for this thread. So you might want to check that out. The, the, the standout track is Slip Inside This House, Baby Blue, and the single, Levitation. This was the single, Levitation. I have a stock copy that is called You've Got Levitation, but I can't seem to find it some of the versions of the album this says levitation some of the versions on the album say you've got levitation and some don't i can't seem to make any sense rhyme or reason why that's the case the original 1967 mono is the best version and that's the one to want this is my white label promo it's rare as hell but the stock copy is even rarer. I've never seen it. Hopefully one day I'll find that. The difference is noticeable on the mono. The jug on She Lives, the jug is way more prominent in this than it was in the stereo. And it's way more prominent on this album compared to the first album. So if you like the jug, you're going to like this. Levitation has a double-tracked Rocky vocal 
and Rocky's harmonica solo on I Had to Tell You is far clearer. There is a mono version that says, that says stereo on the cover and the label, but the music is actually in mono. Look for IAM in the stampers. The original 1967 stereo mix has never been officially reissued. Stereo tapes were lost and presumed destroyed. Even though you'll see reissues that say, recently found with original master tapes, they're lying. When Leland Rogers started up international artists again in the late 70s, he reissued the mono and the stereo. And since he didn't have the stereo tapes, that stereo version was reprocessed stereo mixes with added phasing effects and all the versions since were copies of that or a vinyl transfer of an OG copy. The original 1967 mono is the best sounding version and this is the one you want. I have the white label promo with the misspelling and the stereo with the proper spelling. There was only one single that came out with this release. And that is Levitation. And on the B side, Before You Accuse Me, that was a Bo Diddley track and that they played live throughout 1966 and 1967. I have the demos everywhere it's a bootleg and really it's just here for the cover this is actually the demos from the first album 2016 red vinyl which is what I was holding up earlier it's crap it's not good don't pick it up there's also the 2022 reissue this has the mono and the stereo it's got some good photos Multicolor vinyl. I also have the black one. The stereo of this is better, but it's still the same one from the 70s. And I think they've cleaned it up. It's 2022. Maybe there's some AI or so, some tweaking. The mono is solid. If you can't afford the original, the mono is good. Hit me up if you want a vinyl rip of the original mono or the stereo, and perhaps I could send one your way. But you'd have to like, subscribe, and ding the bell. My wife will check and you won't get it if you don't do that. If you really want to go down the rabbit hole with the 13 floor elevators, there are some Facebook pages and websites that really talk about the rare versions, the best sounding quality of versions, and they really, really dig deep. Um, a rip of the eight track stereo is a really great version. You'll find that on YouTube and it's, it's clean. It's, it's got some depth and it's, 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 thumping Easter everywhere it's got a lukewarm reception compared to the first album but now it is considered a psychedelic masterpiece it's innovative it's they they highlight their musical and spiritual approach um, this is my favorite elevators album this is psych this is five of five stars for me pick it up Happy Easter, happy Easter everywhere.